My name is Dave Chick. Uh, we're at the Trolleybus Museum at Sandtoft, and I'm the Development uh, Director for the museum. What's unique about us is that we have the largest collection of historic trolleybuses in the world. During the 1960s and early 70s, as trolleybus systems closed, people bought up trolleybuses as they came out of service. So the Reading Transport Society uh, joined up with another couple of more local organisations and started the Trolleybus Museum at Sandtoft. For some time now, I've been attending meetings of Museum Development Yorkshire. One of the things that's lacking here is interpretation. And I thought this would be a good way of, of getting some funding to improve uh, the, the interpretation. And by concentrating on the Humber area, we could look at the three trolleybus systems that operated in that area, which was Hull, Grimsby and Cleethorpes. I had the idea of, uh, of having an exhibition which would look at those three trolleybus systems, and I thought there were some good stories that could, could be told about them. One of the things that we, we try to do here is to cater for visitors with uh, a variety of disabilities. I've worked before with a chap called Phil Chambers and it was actually Humber Museum's partnership who suggested you can pay for somebody to, to do the work that you need to advise you. Phil advised me about uh, a device called the Pen Pal. You press it against these buttons that you can see next to uh, all our boards and it acts like a QR code. It reads out all the information that's on the board. Or we've got a book with everything transcribed into Braille and, and everything in large print. Now we did an oral history project as part of this. We did recordings in Hull and in Grimsby and people came to talk to us about their recollections of, of trolley buses. They were all filmed and on the touch screen you can play these films so you can look at whose interview you want to see. The first person in, in a wheelchair, said to me, this is perfect, everything is at the right height. And, and that was, you know, it was by design that everything was at the right height, whether you're standing up or whether you're, you're in a wheelchair, everything is accessible. I felt part of a community anyway through Museum Development Yorkshire, but this has really strengthened it. Uh, when you work with other people and you see what they're trying to achieve, it helps, I think, to see the way that other people approach their problems. We don't have any museum professionals here, we're, we're all volunteers. The fact that we, we've got a, a, a mentor, Sarah Oswald, that has been extremely useful and it means that when we apply for funding in the future, you know, we've got this under our belts now. So it's, it's helping to improve our offer and it's showing us more what we can do when, when we uh, put our minds to it.